Welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and I'm back today with my 1956 Volkswagen Beetle, also known as Eleanor. Check it out. Yeah. Audio's been lost to this clip also because my stupid f***ing GoPro likes to gobble up audio. But as you know, I'm working on these hinges to the doors on Eleanor, and I keep getting told by a whole bunch of people, Hey, Duckman, that's not going to work, so, you know, hey... That's just too bad because I'm going to make it work and I'm going to make all you people that are saying that it doesn't work look dumb. <laughs> and it's totally worth it. Well, anyways, as always, like, comment, subscribe, plug the dingle belly. Don't forget to check out my website at duckshit.net. I thank you very, very much for hitting me up over there and finding all my other social media links. I now have over a thousand people following me on Instagram. So I appreciate that very much, you guys, all of you that went over there and clicked the button for follow. Once again, still, hit it up. I mean, there's no reason to stop. Uh, that's where I post pictures in between projects. If I can't get a video up, I try to put up some photos instead. So again, you guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and return to this project. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You saw me cut these two pieces down. This is a stock screw. It actually does thread into this, but I discovered that the stuff is too thick, and unfortunately, I can't run a stock screw into it, but I would have loved to have demonstrated stock screws on there. Uh, maybe I'll find some with heads like that, but these set of screws uh, actually came with these hinge kit. So let's go ahead and show you how this is supposed to go together. First we put the piece of the hinge in here. Helps if I don't drop it. There we go. We got our backing plate, which is threaded. Screws in there just like that. Tightens down with an Allen key. There we go. That's how it's going to snug up. Now what I still need to do is I need to actually take this piece back out and uh, mill around the edges of it so that way it has the ability to float in this, this uh, pocket that I made in here and the reason for that is so that way the door is adjustable I can loosen up these screws and move the door every which way it's uh, recessed a little bit as you probably notice and that's because I'm actually going to put a couple spacers behind this so that way I can space it in and out to lengthen the door if I need to but I'll put a couple spacers behind it just so that way it has a uh, a starting point I don't want to you know start butted way to the back or start flush with the front I want it actually to be somewhere floating in the middle so that way we can make adjustments off of that as necessary now the uh, pocket over on this side over here is a skinnier one, so this piece obviously is not going to fit in there. It's just it's not going to go in there, so I'm going to have to mill some off of both sides and then get that put in there. But once everything is said and done, the hinge is going to attach just like this. And that's the reason why I cut this notch out of here. So I'll weld this plate onto that plate, and then of course it'll be screwed right into the pockets through via the pin inside the a pillars should go on just like that oh you know duck man oh it's not gonna work oh yeah 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 this is gonna be much shorter i don't know how much i'm gonna shorten it but it's gonna be probably a few inches cut out of it but yeah it'll be like that and of course from the inside of the car you'll see the hinge you will see the hinge just a little bit uh if we choose to i i could probably even could make a little metal plate if i get that fancy and weld over this we'll see how that turns out of course once i get the door mounted in position as i start tacking the welds on but uh yeah that's how it's supposed to work and of course the same thing over on the other end over here okay, just like that or if you want to look at them both people like to see both here we go just like that and there's my thumbnail image <laughs> Well, unfortunately, I lost my audio to this section of the video here, but I went ahead and I milled this piece down. And then I took the backing plate, slipped it in around the back. And there it is. It kind of slips between a couple layers of metal. It's kind of interesting how that worked out. Didn't intend for it to be that way. It just kind of was. So I'm slipping that piece in, lining up the holes. And those holes, I'm going to drill them out a little bit bigger so that way the uh, screws can float in those holes. So I can move this whole piece around. It still needs to be milled down a little bit too, so it has a bigger gap around the edges. But um, I'm going to run these screws in here, and we're going to show you exactly what it looks like when it's all assembled. It goes together pretty easy, but you know, once you got it together, it's not something you, well, pretty much not 
something you ever take apart. And here it is. Tighten them right up. Check me out. Yeah. It's snug up real good. I don't hear any weird crunching or anything. Still need to do a little bit of welding around the back side of those uh, pockets that I put in there. I also need to do some grinding on the welding inside the pocket. That's the reason why the uh, little block that I put in there hasn't gone completely uh, flush. Here are the hinges. That's what they're going to look like when they get welded together. Well, anyway, I just want to tell everybody, you know, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll be back tomorrow working on this project a little bit more. I'm going to try to get the hinges welded into the car and then try to get the hinges welded together here on the doors and maybe we'll make them work. As always, check out DougShit.net for all my different social media links. Don't forget to join me up on the Facebook group page and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.